Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. Farming Sim 19 continues. We're going to take a look at some of the tutorials here today. One of the great things that the game does offer is the ability to, uh, well, understand what you're about to do. Arable farming, crop protection, fertilizing, soil care, baling, forestry, all important things that we're going to take a look at. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with arable farming, and we'll go through as many of these uh, tutorials as we can. Again, if you want to see more of this, make sure you click or tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more Farming Sim 19. Let's get into it then. Learn the basics of the game and how effectively to work your land. All right, let's do it. Arable farming looks like we're going to be at Ravenport, which is uh, the American map. And uh, as it says here, some vehicles allow for additional customization, different wheels, stronger engine, different color or front loader attachments. Very important thing to know uh, when you're on your farm. In today's lessons, you'll learn about arable farming. To produce crops, there are three mandatory steps, cultivating, sowing, harvesting. Let's start with cultivating. Cultivating aerates the ground before you start sowing your crops. You'll need a tractor and a cultivator for this task. First, look, uh, look around the area and move up to the tractor, SWAD. Uh, for player control and view direction. All right, very basic. So as you can see here, uh, yep, we're back at our Ravenport farm that you start with by default. Here's your tractor. Tractors are required to pull tippers and tool. Uh, tools hop in. All right, and do we have a front weight on this one? Oh yeah, we do. All right, good. And this is the uh, Massey Ferguson 5613. Nice. Here's the gas pedal next to the brake, and you've seen a steering wheel before, haven't you? It's easy. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. You need to attach the weight to the cultivator. First, slowly drive to the black weight in front of you and attach it to the tractor. Then move backwards towards the cultivator and attach it to the back of the tractor. The extra weight counterbalance the heavier uh, weight in the back. All right, let's go ahead and do it. All right, then S to reverse, right? Oh, look at that suspension go. Look at that. That's nice. Since you have two tools attached, you can switch between them to operate them individually. The schematic view of the tractor in the top left displays the tools that's currently active. Select the cultivator at the back and lower it into the soil, then drive up and down the field as straight as you can. G to switch tools, X to unfold, V to lower or raise. Okay. And I don't think this one needs to be unfolded. Oh, it does, actually. Very interesting. Alright, we're going to pull up to the edge of the field. Probably keep our uh, speed at about 10. There we go. Lower it down with V, and away we go. Very simple. Not my first day in farming sim, but uh, cultivating in this game is a little bit different. You can definitely tell that the tractor is more uh, bumpy and reacts to the ground a lot more. All right, that's one pass. All right, let's go around the other side. Now I'm wondering if we can actually remove these bushes and such. It'd be nice to actually uh, bring a mower around here cut down all these pesky bushes. All right, let's go for another one. Another good thing would be a GPS tool in this game, too. One of the things they haven't brought in forever is the ability to uh, just set things to a GPS, which kind of takes the fun out of things, but it beats hiring a worker. Right, let's try again. There we go. Look at the birds on the field. Get out of here, birds. There we go. Well, so far, so good. All right, second pass complete. Looks like we'll just need to make three passes in order to complete this tutorial today. All right, and let's go for our third pass. There we go. Well, it definitely looks cool to be able to see the cultivator working like that. And there's many, many different cultivators in the game. Lots to do. Probably one of the uh, least uh, enjoyable tasks for myself is to cultivate and to plow, though that may be different for you. It's uh, a task that uh, sometimes you have to go back and, uh, eh, if you missed a spot, sometimes you have to come back. And uh, especially now that sloped uh, fields and such are a little more slippery than in other farming sim games, it's not as easy to keep her on the, on the straight and narrow. Although I will say, if you have a steering wheel, that's going to make everything way easier when you're on the farm field. Woo! Uh, now you got the hang of the cultivation, ready to plant some seeds? Okay. Alright, cultivating has loosened the soil, making it well prepared for sowing. You'll need a tractor and sowing machine for the task. Make sure to fill the sowing machine with seeds. Oh, cool! Get in the tractor and attach the tools as you did before. 
Alright, roger that. I wonder if we get to use a telehandler in order to load. Or if it's close enough, it'll just be automatic. Wow, look at this thing. Wow, that's a big boy. And, oh, we got ourselves a John Deere, boys. The 135M. Ooh, that's nice. Very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, attach then. This don't need no front weight. Alright, back her up. First, fill the sewing machine with seeds in the pallet next to it. Then turn it on so you can plant seeds. Finally, lower it into the soil. Once this is done, drive up the field again and sow some canola seeds. All right. Uh, G to switch tools. B to lower and raise. B to turn on. R to refill. Okay. Oh, so if, if you're actually close to a, a pallet of seeds, will it autofill? Oh, it does. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't... I don't know if that ever was a feature before in Farming Sim. Is that is that a new thing? I thought you always had to load it in there manually. I don't remember close allowing for autofill like that. Well, let's go ahead and make sure it's unfolded. Oh, which it already did. Good. And then we'll pull up there. And we'll lower it into the ground. And let's start. Oh, this thing can haul, baby. Oh, how about that John Deere interior? Look at that thing bump around. Very nice. Oh, slow her down. Probably easiest to do this with a, a controller. I usually play with a, a keyboard and mouse, but I'm definitely thinking about picking up a controller. Would you recommend any controller for me? What, what, what kind of a controller would you recommend? A lot of people, I think, might just play with an Xbox, but is there any neat little controller out there that's uh, preferable for farming sim? Ooh. There we go. Boy, sewing is a lot more of a challenging drive now. Very cool. Luckily, this is a tutorial, so we don't have to be perfect. That's why we're just learning. And we'll pass one more time. So even if you get Farming Sim 19 and need a little bit of practice or don't understand how everything works, I think Farming Sim 19 really is truly the game to get into Farming Simulator. Uh, it's got the most amount of features ever. It's got the most amount of beautiful graphics than ever. And it even has an advertising campaign. Have you seen the commercials? There are commercials for this game on TV. Some bigger games that I've even played on the channel don't even ha don't don't go on TV. They don't have a budget for that. Farming Sim has definitely increased its budget for sure, uh, especially to include brands such as John Deere and of course all of your favorites returning: Massey Ferguson, Fent, that kind of thing. Case. Oh, that's a big favorite of mine. Looks like we're going to be a little off on this one, but that's interesting that they give you a hill right there. Jeez. Of course, the cool thing is that you can make fields wherever you want, too. Uh, some of the features in the game allow you to buy land and then make any type of field size that you want. And sewing is definitely a job that I need a little bit of tutorial on. So there we go. All right. It's time for them to grow in the field uh, of canola and ready to harvest. All right. Roger that. On to bigger and better things. There we go, another John Deere. Look at that. After some time has passed, a field is ready to be harvested. In career, look uh, at the map menu to see if any fields are ready to be harvested. You'll need a combine harvester and a header for this task. The combine harvester harvests the grain and separates it from the sterns, uh, sorry, stems, and uh, then can, <laughs> the grain can be sold. Uh, let's see, enter the combine harvester and attach the front. E to enter and Q to attach the tool. Yeah, so a lot of these harvesters have the ability to choose different types of headers, either in uh, type or in size. This one here looks like it's about... Oh boy, oh boy. That is a big boy. I wonder if it actually says the uh, width on that. Let's see her here. If we pull up, if it says... Uh, the 625X. All right. First, combine must be unfolded. Then you can turn it on. This way the cutter is lowered automatically. You can raise and lower it manually, but remember to keep it low for harvesting. G to switch tools. X to unfold. V lowers it and raises. And B turns on or off. Okay. Well, let's get to it then. So we'll go ahead and roll into position. Let's take a look at the interior. Oh, wow. Look at that. It actually... Look at that. The control actually moves depending on how you're driving. Look at that. That's amazing. Wow, that's a ni another nice welcome detail. It says they're like soy soybeans. What does that say? Edible beans. Oh. So the whole interior is kind of just uh, modeled. Wow, is that a seatbelt cutter there? And a glass breaker? That is so cool. 
Very nicely done on the interior. All right, let's go ahead and uh, line up here for harvesting. Should be okay. Oh, actually, we need to be back on the other side a little bit. I moved around too much when I was looking at that interior. There we go. All right, so let's lower the header and unfold. So there's the unfolding process. Nice. Then let's go ahead and lower the head. And flip her on. Now, this is Conola, so we won't see a lot of... Uh, Oh, whoa. oh yeah, one of the new things in Farming Sim 2 is the wheels. They actually stay in place. For example, you see how my wheels turn like this? If you let go of the controls in previous Farming Sims, it would zero back out. But here, it actually kind of remembers where your wheel was. And uh, you have to kind of straighten it out a little bit. And it will when you go straight over time. That's cool. I like that. Oh, would you look at that? Ooh, this John Deere is not going to be able to hold a lot. Oh, it looks like we actually have a tipper trailer out there, which we can unload it into. That's going to be nice. There we go. Harvesting is probably the most enjoyable part of the job, because you know you're about to make some wonderful money. Okay, let's circle around one more time. Yeah, this is nice. They've got some really great brands in this game, finally. Well, they... They've added more great brands to the game. Oh, and look at that. There's crop destruction, too. Yeah, look at that. You can see where I rolled over. Very nice. All right, let's keep harvesting. Now, I think you can turn that on and off, and that's the great thing about this game is that you can play it to your own specifications. You don't have to follow anyone's rules. If you just want to start a cattle ranch and uh, just do nothing but feed the cows, that's all you got to do. The, combo uh, the combine grain tank is nearly full. Open the pipe and... Drive alongside the tipper at the edge of the field and empty the grain tank into it. All right, roger that. Go ahead and turn this off. There we go. And we'll back out of here. And we'll extend the pipe. I just love how you can see birds flying around. This is the most smoothest farming sim experience yet. We have yet to try out multiplayer, so I'm really excited to see how that all functions, too. There's so many things to do. Oh, there we go. Oh, this... Uh, wow, the pipe on this is extremely long. Usually you got to get right next to the tipper. Look at that. This is no joke here. I'm going to try to get even with this thing so it looks nice. There we go. Just getting excited and ready for the new wheel system. I, I like how that operates, where you have to keep an eye on the wheel. It's really cool. All right, canola is almost unloaded, and we'll probably have to finish with the rest. Actually, that'll be the end of the process. I wonder if they'll show us where to sell it next, or how to put it into the silo. Great, get out of the combine and get into the tractor in front of the tipper. All right. All right, so we'll go over to the New Holland. The flashing icon on your map shows where to unload the tipper. Drive over there and empty the... Oh, we're going to the silo. Fantastic. All right, let's drive over to the silo then. We'll go at a breakneck pace of about 10. That feels about right. There we go. You know what I'd really like in Farming Sim? I don't know if there's a way to do that, but, you know, to be able to build a road between these two farm fields would be nice. Come through, cut all the grass out, and make a dirt road here would be really cool. Or, if that happened naturally over driving, like, for example, here, driving long enough in order to uh, destroy some of the... Uh, uh, grass in order to make a path. That would be really neat. Or to get out some sort of a roller or something to do it yourself. Wow, look at that. We can even, uh, if you press N, you can actually cover or uncover the uh, tipper if you'd like to. And you can do that for a lot of pieces of equipment that have uh, covers and such. Alright, let's overload. There we go. Nice. Excellent. The grain will be in, uh, kept well in the silos. There's a limited capacity you can store in them, but you will be able to expand them later in the game. Once you're ready to sell your harvest, you can take the grain out of the silos and deliver them to one of the various selling stations in the world to make some money. Good work. Uh, and with this, you're now prepared to turn your land into a thriving farm. Well, there you go. All right, first tutorial checked and done. I think we're going to go through all of these. It's going to be a lot of fun to kind of just do a tutorial where things are already set up. So 
If you want to know more about the basics of farming Sim 19 or farming in general, if this is your first time, or if you're pro, I would still recommend at least looking at the tutorials to see what might be different or something you might miss. We're going to come back next time for crop protection, then fertilizing, soil care, baling, and then eventually cutting down trees in forestry, learning how to fell trees, cut them down, and with the chainsaw and sell the logs. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned for more on Farming Sim 19. There is so much to do. So if you want to see more, make sure you click or tap that like button. Subscribe if you're new here and say wow down below in that comment section and I will heart your comment because I'm excited for this game and I know you are too. I'll see you all next time. Folks, as always, thank you very much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.